Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to One Motivates. Yo, man, for the people that have been coming here and supporting my channel, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for always showing love to my channel. Thank you for always leaving comments and letting me know what you guys want to hear, interested in. And uh, I really appreciate that. So uh, thank you guys. And for the new people that come on here and happen to click on here, man, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Go ahead and consider hitting the subscription button, the notification bell, because all I do is drop videos on information that you guys don't know about that you guys want to know more about or you don't know about and you're like hey man show me or or at least tell me or give me like a path to get there or whatever and that's why i'm here man i'm here to help you guys um so anyway man i've been getting a lot of questions about radiation therapy lately um and i don't know my videos are just getting out there or whatever because you know youtube is the algorithm thing so if you don't sit here and you don't like my videos or you know you don't leave a comment then YouTube is like, well, nobody's really like, nobody wants this information, they don't need it. So I drop a video like, you know, I don't know, I'll just drop it and then like four months later, I get a comment from that video and it's like, I dropped this four months ago, but YouTube just works mysteriously, man, and uh, the algorithm is a big deal. But anyway, so on this video, I'm gonna try to show you uh, the best ways on getting, how to get into uh, radiation therapy school, you know, and what you will need, you know, things like that. So I made some notes, things like that. So, um, so for radiation therapy, it's kind of like radiology, you know what I'm saying? It's a two year program. So it's an associate's degree in science. Uh, you have to go to school, um, take your boards when you're done. And, you know, so it's kind of like associate's degree. Also, what I was doing research, they said that if you want to work for a hospital, they want you to get a bachelor's in radiology science. So just keep that in radiology therapy sciences or whatever. So just keep that in mind, you know, um, I'm not saying you can't get a job once you get into, you know, radiation therapy school and you get done, you pass your boards. But, you know, most people is like, okay, we'll hire you at a hospital, but then you have so much time, two, three years to get your bachelor's in radiation therapy. So just keep that in mind because every hospital, every, every facility is different. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, also, um, yeah, like I said, each state is different. Each state, uh, California is different from Florida. Florida is different from Texas. Texas is different from New York. So any state you decide to live in or where you're from, you're gonna, if you wanna go to radiation therapy school, just make sure that you know their laws and what they ask of you. Also, um, I'm gonna tell you the classes you need to take before you get into the program, you know, uh, so you're gonna need anatomy one and two with lab. I guess everybody, you know, it's kind of like a given, right? You're gonna go in a medical field, you're gonna need anatomy one and two, uh, and you're gonna have to do it regardless. Whether you do radiology, nursing, radiation therapy, it don't matter. Um, the next one is English comp, English composition. You can do either one or part two. Um, I really don't know much. I mean, I took them, but our, our English one is kind of like your verbs, nouns, things like that. English two is basically like you got to like go through poems, you know. English two is mostly, English two isn't on here, but if you get your bachelor's, you're going to need it because I took it. English two is more like poems and poetry, Shakespeare, things like that. Um, so just give you an FYI on that. Uh, to get into radiation therapy program, you also need um, a general math. It could be every school is different. I mean, it can be a fit, it could be algebra. I think college algebra is mandatory, and then you need another one. So it can be like um, st uh, statistics or intro to intro to physics or something like that. So just be aware of that. Um, also, uh, you're gonna need uh, intro to chemistry or chemistry one. I think. Oh, it says chemistry for health sciences. So. Like I said, every school is different. They might not need, uh, if you go to a certain school that you choose and they might like, oh, I don't need chemistry. So these are just kind of like classes you might and might not need, but it's it the it's uh, similar to each program. Um, you're gonna need a humanities elective class, uh, a government civics class, um, and a public speaking, either public speaking or intro to speaking or something like that. You're gonna need those classes. Um, they're not, public speaking is always like the hard one to take, man, because a lot of people don't like to, to talk in front of people. You know what I'm saying? You get nervous, but uh, it's just a class, man. You just take it like, look, man, I'm gonna do this for just one semester and after that, I'm done with it. I don't have to do public speaking ever again. I'm good, you know what I'm saying? So if you can get through that, then I understand, you know, you get through all that. So this is mostly for like 
Florida, Florida people, Texas, and California, because those are the most comments I get from here. So I'm gonna give you those schools that I found. So I'm gonna start with Florida, because I'm from Florida. So for Florida, the schools that I found, I found three. It's hard, man, radiology, uh, radiology, radiation therapy is a hard program to find, it is. A lot of schools don't teach it, and I'm not honestly sure why. I don't know why, I don't know why a lot of people don't teach it, right? But the ones I found was Broward College, um, Kaiser University, and Cambridge Cambridge Healthcare and Technology um, Institute. Uh, those are the three ones I found in, in Florida. Uh, those are, like I said, a Broward College. I think it's kind of like a state, like a state university type thing. Kaiser and Cambridge, those two are private colleges, so it's gonna cost you a lot more money to go there. But like I said, if radiation therapy is your thing, that's something you should look, consider because it's not like radi it's not like reg regular radiology tech. You can go there to any state college and you'll have it. I'll definitely tell you to go to state college. But if your passion and your goal is to go for radiation therapy, then take your chances and go to a private college because a lot of a lot of institutions don't teach radiation therapy for whatever reason. I can't tell you why and why not. Now in California, I can only find one school. So California, I found, um, if I pronounce it wrong, I apologize, but it's uh, uh, Jernick, Jernick Academy and uh, Van, Nunn's, Van Nuys campus. Uh, that's the only one I found. They have a lot of radiation. Uh, that school has a lot of um, imaging programs. They have, I've seen sonography, nuclear medicine, MRI, regular radiology, uh, radiation therapy, cardiovascular. So Van Nuys, California. Uh, that school is good. Again, it's um, Gynric, or Gynic Academy. It starts with a G. If I pronounced it wrong, if I jacked it up, I apologize. But um, that's the one I found in California, man. The one in Texas, the only one I found, the only one I found in Texas was Texas State University. Um, so if you're in Texas, you want to go for radiation therapy, look into Texas State University. Now, these programs, sometimes they, um, like, radi like radiology technologies, that's always going to be a legit program. It's always going to be there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, but radiation therapy programs like that, like I said, they're hard to find. And sometimes um, colleges discontinue the programs for whatever reason. Maybe they don't have enough, enough students that qualify for it. Maybe the job market isn't there for it, you know? So... For instance, radiology, we have a shortage. So colleges are gonna be, you know, putting out programs and, and not getting rid of radiology because they know that the industry, the, the healthcare industry needs us. So they're gonna keep that program alive because they'll be like, look, we need x-ray techs right now. We're, we're running short nationwide. So that program is not gonna go anywhere. Now, for instance, radiation therapy, there's only a, only a handful of places you can work at. So they're gonna be like, look, a lot of people ain't, you know, ain't applying to these programs because they can't get a job fast enough, you know, things like that. So they might discontinue the program. So that's why it's probably hard to find a radiation therapy program. I'm not sure, but that can be a reason, right? And final but not least, um, it says the national average when you get done for radiation therapy is between 80 to 90K a year. Uh, so I think that's another reason, you know, a lot of people get these, you know, they go through radiation therapy, they do what they have to do, they get a job and they stay. They stay because, you know, it's, it, they pay they pay well, it's a, a great work schedule, you're off on weekends, off on major holidays, so what's not like to, you know, what's not to like about that, you know what I mean? So it's hard to, to find a job, I'm guessing, when you get done, you know, um, and the best way to find that out is to go to Indeed.com. You type in radiation therapy, you type in the state you want to work in, or you can put United States, whatever, Florida, specific, whatever you want, and it'll break it down and tell you how many jobs are out there looking for that particular program or that particular tech or specialist. Um, and that's how you'll find out, is it worth for me going for radiation therapy school if there's not enough jobs there? You know what I'm saying? If, I'm a, if I live in Florida and I'm going to go for radiation therapy school and they're only hiring one job here in a whole state and they have one job in California and one in New York, things like that, you know, you have to understand that. Yeah, you have to go to where the money's at or whatever the case may be. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you guys. If you have any more questions, you already know. Leave it down there in the bottom. I'll get to you ASAP. Always thank for supporting me.